We have an NBC News projection in the race for U.S. Senate in Colorado. NBC News projects the Democratic U.S. Senator Michael Bennett is reelected and defeats his GOP challenger, Joe O'Day. We currently have, let me see, short of short of a million votes uh, counted in that race. But NBC News, again, is projecting based on the current vote totals and their own and uh, the polling that they've been looking at that Michael Bennett defeats Joe O'Day. Marshall, what are you seeing in the numbers? So my math's a little more updated. We've got a little more than a million total votes and it's it's narrower compared to the governor's race. But as you see currently what we have with a million votes in Michael Bennett with a 58% advantage, Joe Day, not quite 40%. We're still waiting for El Paso County. That's going to bump up Joe Day considerably. There's a lot of the white counties that will have a minor impact on Joe Day bumping up. Uh, but yeah, with let's just do the quick comparison again to the governor's race where Heidi Ganahl had 37% of the same counties where Joe O'Day has received 39.4%. Uh, this is not going to be entirely helpful until we get a complete accounting of the votes of the entire state. But two years ago when we also had a U.S. Senate race, John Hickenlooper defeated Cory Gardner by 301,000 votes. Currently, Joe O'Day is only trailing, if you want to say only, by 193,000. I want to do the same thing on the governor's race that was called earlier by NBC. Currently, based on what we have, Heidi Ganahl is trailing 246,000. And when all was said and done, actually we're comparing this one to two years ago in the president's race, uh, Joe Biden outperformed Donald Trump by 439,000. So uh, Heidi Ganahl has cut that not quite in half, uh, but it'd be greater, better to compare it actually to 2018 where we can see when all was said and done, Walker Stapleton lost by 268,000. Currently Heidi Ganahl trailing by 246,000. But as, you, as we pointed out here, Joe O'Day in the Senate race is performing better in this split ticket environment where it appears there are voters out there that voted for Jared Polis and Joe O'Day, but based on NBC's projection, just not enough voting for Joe O'Day.